So hi, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna talk about DistroKid. DistroKid is a music distribution service. If you want to get your music onto Spotify or iTunes, Pandora, you can't do it on a personal level. You cannot just write to Spotify and say, and tell them that you would like to get your music on the platform. So there are companies set up worldwide that act as an aggregator or a middleman to distribute music. They are called music distributors and DistroKid is one of the most popular ones there is. There's a basic plan for $19.99, basically $20, that you could upload as many songs as you want for one whole year. So what does that mean for a producer? DistroKid Beats. It's not a separate company, but you have the ability to upload your beats directly to Spotify in search of your perfect clientele. You're trying to market your beats to an international audience. DistroKid has YouTube monetization as an add-on. So you can actually monetize your beats to play as an instrumental track. The world is yours. You could start up a playlist for people that work out, for people that study just with your beats. So jump on it as quickly as you can. You don't have anything to worry about when it comes to DistroKid payments. They pay through PayPal. But the longest wait that you have is waiting for your money to come in from stores. There's normally about a two to three month processing time. So every day you can see your analytics on DistroKid or if you go straight to Spotify for artists you will be able to see your analytics. So you will see players coming in on a constant basis. Payments are staggered for every three months. Spotify, iTunes, Apple Music, all these stores have a two to three month processing time before the payments are sent to DistroKid in order for you to access it. Once the money shows up in your DistroKid bank, all you need to do is send in a request, basically to cash out, and they will send the payments via PayPal. And you know PayPal has a processing time of maybe about two to three weeks before the money shows up in your account. So you have no problems whatsoever when it comes to districted payments. So with PayPal, there's a 2% processing fee. There are also payments via wire transfers and e-checks. But I won't get into that because most people will use the PayPal option when it comes to districted because it's a lot quicker. With a basic account, you cannot see your daily stats via DistroKid. You will have to upgrade to the Musician Plus plan. So the Musician Plus plan is $35.99, $36 a year. With that plan, you get Spotify verified checkmark, sync lyrics for Instagram, daily sales stats, customizable label name, customizable release date, customizable pre-order date, and much more. In my other video, I'll explain why you should stick to the $20 plan and not upgrade. As tempting as it is, don't upgrade to the $36 per year plan. Because as a new artist, you won't understand what you're really getting into. Not that they're going to steal your money, not that they're the add-ons. The add-ons are the problem. The add-ons are basically hidden cost because once you add on every year you're going to have to renew those add-ons. When you get to understand the music business, when you get to understand music distribution, you will realize that there are a lot of things that you can get for free that you do not need to pay for. There are other platforms where a lot of the things that you pay districted for the add-ons are already included for free. Districted Spotify for Artists Claim. I did another video specifically on claiming your artist profiles. I will link that probably here. On Districted, there's a section that says Claim Spotify Artist Page. All you need to do is log into your account, click on that link. It sends you straight to Spotify for Artists. Once you get onto Spotify for Artists, 
go through the procedure as I said in the other video and you will basically claim that profile I think you oh actually you can claim you can also claim it on Apple music if you are new to music distribution if you are new to this whole thing of trying to get your music online to sell your music I would highly recommend that you use DistroKid to start off. Stick with the basic $20 plan per year, upload as much music as you can. DistroKid is very easy, the interface is very easy to understand. It's super, super simple. Everything is laid out, there's, there's not a, a ton load of information for you to read. It's basically music distribution for dummies. Let's put it that way. DistroKid is music distribution for dummies as a website. Shazam is a big one, believe me. When you have your music distributed and you're able to pull up Shazam and Shazam your song, it's the greatest feeling in the world. It's like, I am a legitimate artist. But don't fall for it in the first year. Come see me soon. Peace.